Deaf and Hard of Hearing Constituents Day at the State House, Tuesday, April 14th, 2015. Hello, I'm Kelly Kim, the chairperson for the Statewide Advisory Council for the Massachusetts Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. Tuesday, April 14th is Deaf and Hard of Hearing Constituents Day at the State House. This annual event is hosted by the members of the Statewide Advisory Council for the Massachusetts Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. Join us in the Great Hall of the Massachusetts State House from 10 a.m. till noon. The program includes highlights from the statewide listening sessions held from September to February of this past year. Annual awards will be given in recognition of legislators, service providers, advocates, and organizations whose work advances communication access for deaf, hard of hearing, and deaf-blind people in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The awards are divided into four categories. The first category is the Outstanding Legislators Award. Congratulations to Senator Patricia Jalen, Representative Jay Kaufman, and Representative John Skiback for their achievements and efforts on behalf of constituents in the deaf, hard of hearing, and late deafened community. The second category is the Outstanding Service Provider Award. This distinguished award has two recipients, Nancy Eaton and Nancy Vincent. Congratulations to Nancy Eaton in recognition of exemplary service and generous contribution of many hours of time in recruiting and organizing car providers for the biennial Northeast Cochlear Implant Conventions. And congratulations to Nancy Vincent in recognition of her exemplary and groundbreaking achievements as a parent-infant coordinator at the Learning Center for the Deaf. The third category is the Outstanding Advocate Award, which also has two recipients. Congratulations, Evan Brunel, for your accomplishments as an advocate, fostering social connections for deaf and hard of hearing teenagers and children, mentoring through Clark Schools, and leadership with the Massachusetts chapter of the A.G. Bell Association. And congratulations also to Peggy Ellerston for your strategic initiatives to advocate for increased availability of induction loops for assistive listening in auditoriums and empowering chapter members to advocate and be informed of hearing assistive technology options. The fourth category is the Outstanding Organization Award, which also has two recipients. Thank you Advocates Inc. Deaf Respite Program for the team's professionalism, exemplary commitment to deaf cultural competency, excellency as a clinical team, and dedication to the well-being of deaf, hard of hearing, and deaf-blind individuals. The second recipient of this award is the UMass Medical School Department of Psychiatry. In recognition of the department's commitment to conducting research through deaf and deaf competent clinical researchers and through their work to address the significant behavioral health disparities experienced by deaf people in Massachusetts and beyond. Congratulations to all award recipients. If you'll be joining us at the State House, the program will conclude at noon 
and you can either make afternoon appointments with your legislators or take a tour of the State House focusing on improved communication access technology. Everyone's welcome. Deaf, hard of hearing, late deafened, and deafblind community members, allies, and friends. Join us on April 14th. Together, we are becoming more visible, involved, and active partners with our government. For more information, please contact Hannah Hannigan at ami.hanigan at state.ma.us. See you at the State House. Thanks for watching.